So the last thing I want to touch on before we get back to actual rigging is something called transform matrices. A transform matrix is a 4x4 grid of numbers that represents everything about the location, rotation, and scale of an object. Not only that, but transform matrices can also represent things like shear. Basically, they're the mother of all transformation representations as far as flexibility goes. However, like quaternions, the rotation part of transform matrices don't have a concept of rotation path. They're much more like rotation deltas. In fact, transform matrices are even more like rotation deltas than quaternions are, because unlike quaternions, which cover 720 degrees of rotation, transform matrices only cover 360. I won't go into the math of transform matrices, but you should be aware that Blender uses them internally for representing and manipulating object transformations. When you, as a user, specify the location, rotation, and scale of an object in the end panel, or when those values are generated by animation, Blender actually converts them into a matrix for all of its internal object manipulations. For example, parenting and constraints are both accomplished via transform matrices in Blender. Even armature deformations are based on the transform matrices of bones, not the values you specify in the end panel. This is important to know because later on, it will explain some behaviors that might otherwise seem kind of weird. So with that out of the way, let's finally get back to rigging.